Hi guys, this is Heather with Stealing Hearts Homestead. So I've been having some issues with hot water. Um, don't really know what's going on, but uh, hopefully we can figure it out. Um, so I turned off the power to the camper. I'm gonna turn off my gas. And I did buy a new igniter. Um, the problem that I'm having is that at first it wasn't staying lit and now it's just not lighting. So I'm hoping it's not the control board. I found out that buying your parts in an RV part store is dramatically more expensive than Amazon. So I purchased this new little igniter. It cost me like 50 some dollars. On Amazon it's like 15 so lesson learned there <laughs> if I do need the control board I'm gonna look on Amazon so let me show you what I'm working with so this is what I have going on in here I'm gonna replace this and hopefully that is the problem otherwise I need to buy a whole new one of these so we'll figure it out, see how it goes. There are absolutely no instructions on how to do this. Um, since it doesn't appear to be in the water, <laughs> I'm going to assume I don't need to empty the tank. Um, yeah, that's what I hope for anyways. So let me get to it. So that just slips off. That comes out. Okay. Uh, Looks like I need to undo that bolt, maybe. Goodness. Oh no, okay. So this bolt right here I need to undo. So let me see if I have anything small enough for that. So it did come with a new bolt. The bolt fits in a 1 4th inch socket. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this little bolt out right here because that should be holding this in. All right, so that worked. Old one is out. Looks like this new one should really just slide on in there. I don't think there's any debris back there that's causing any problems. I did buy some compressed air and uh, try to get all the junk out of here, but yeah. it's Arizona, it's so freaking dusty. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this. Um, some of them talk about a little tube that pulls out. Mine's not that kind. Mine just has a little drain plug. Not one of those tubes that um, they say gets eaten through from what I was watching in their videos. There was no videos on how to replace this damn thing. Thankfully, it seems pretty self-explanatory so far. Okay. So this appears to have a little notch up here, but not down here. So I'm assuming it goes in this way. Gosh. Seems that I was right. I think it's in all the way. That goes over that. Now, this is just going to go like that, so I'm trying to put the bolt back in. So I was having a hell of a time trying to get this little bolt through this little hole. So I took a 964th drill bit, which is just a teeny bit bigger than the hole, and drilled it out with that, and now my bolt will finally go in. So if you're having any problems, recommend that. Okay, it's in there, nice and snug. That's connected. So we'll turn on the power again and the propane and we'll see what happens. So what's over here? First things first, we will turn on the propane. Trying to get everything ready before moving day. Disaster in here while I get everything ready. 
all of my solar stuff under here. Turn batteries back on. It's back on. This is we're at ninety three percent charge. Nothing appears to be happening. So next step, remove that board. <coughs> So the propane's coming out because I can smell it, but I guess there's something wrong with that board. All right, so apparently the igniter did not seem to be the issue, so I am ordering a new circuit board. Um, the RV shop wanted, I think, $250 for the circuit board. I just found it on Amazon for $102, so <laughs> I ordered it from there. Should be arriving Tuesday, and then I'll install that. Um, Hopefully that'll fix the problem. Otherwise it's gonna be a new water heater and that's gonna be fairly expensive. I think they run like $400, somewhere around there. I don't know if I have the knowledge to replace one of those. Although most of the stuff that I've done to this RV I've never done before, so. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna head back in the house and finish cleaning up. Hi guys. All right, so today is another day. Um, the control panel just arrived for the water heater. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that and we're gonna hope that that is what's causing our problems. So here is our new control panel. Hoping that it's fairly easy to put in. There's nothing on the back. So it's basically just gonna be these two screws and then hooking up everything the same way that I take it out. So it looks rather similar. I imagine this piece at one point might've been white. Cause it is on this one. Um, so it looks like I'm just gonna have Discord and these. And those are the only two things that are hooked in here. So hopefully it is that simple. So here are the two different units. So you can see my old one is on the right and my new one is on the left. So hopefully this connects. We'll see it's supposed to be compatible so we'll hope for the best so i feel like this video has taken days to make and it really has um finally have the hot water heater going like it should i left to the store i came back it's still on so super super exciting um it was actually very very easy to change the control board i thought it was going to be harder but it was just two screws or they were bolts uh what i put in were screws uh, that's what came with a new control board and the new board was only $102 I think on Amazon so super inexpensive it came with the adapter I needed because my plug's older um, in order to hook everything up so it was two screws put the adapter on reconnect the plugs and I took off and that was it so super super easy all right so you can see it's going strong in there so all I had to do was look up um, I put in control board on Amazon, found one that was for the type of water heater I have, and I made sure it was going to fit this model, which it did. So it came with this little white adapter up here, this one, um, that the old white plug that I took off fits on. And then I just put this back on, and it started right up. I'm gonna take a shower because <laughs> I want to. I want to experience the hot water in my camper for the first time. Um, gosh, everything's been so crazy today. All right, really, this last week I've been getting the house ready to sell, and I've made a ton of progress. My hot water worked. I'm so excited because I'm moving out of here in two days. Oh, well, two more full days, not counting today. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm gone. Um, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe.